Legendaries, this is Sarah from sarahheart.ca. I help entrepreneurs become absolute legends online. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a few simple tricks to make your website look more beautiful and professional without hiring someone to do it for you. So when you're just starting out, it's really important to have a website that captures your personality, but you may not be in, this, in the situation where you can hire a designer yet. And I'm actually here to tell you that it's awesome because when you're just starting out, your website is going to change like crazy anyway. And if you spent that money on a designer, you would need to change your website six months and a year in advance anyway. And it's super empowering to learn to do it yourself. So my first tip is to get really clear on what's going to go on your home about work with me page, every page of your website should you have should have a really clear focus about what's going to go on your page. I'm talking about not including things just for the sake of it or looking at other big brands and saying, okay, well, they had that. I should have that. Get really, really clear on what you want on your website because the number one thing that makes a website looks like look amateurish is having too much clutter, too much stuff. My next tip is to buy a premium theme. Free themes can be glitchy and can look totally unprofessional. You want to make sure that your website is working great and when you have a premium theme you have support and updates so your website is always going to look amazing. My next tip is to buy premium stock photography. This is our photos that are going to capture your personality and a great one is stocksy.com. That's my app absolute favorite uh, stock photo site. And another tip is to do a photo shoot. Having a photo shoot done, even if you don't have any website design skills, it makes your website look a lot more professional. My last tip for you is to really, again, less is more, stick to two to three colors or one to two fonts on your website. Again, and again, I can't stress this more, is that an amateur website usually is over cluttered, has way too much information, and there's no strategy involved in how um, the person picked their colors, fonts, and graphics, and arranged all their content on their website. So really get clear on exactly what you want to deliver on your website, and you'll have a professional, beautiful website that captures who you are and without it looking like total uh, DIY mess. I hope you like this video. If you want the first steps to designing your website, take the brand legend quiz where you'll get your brand book with fonts, colors, and images to create your beautiful website and brand.